Hi and welcome, my name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes we're going to discover how we can make changes to specific color ranges in our image. Now right now I'm in the basic panel in the develop module and although I could change things like maybe the temperature or the tint slider or I could even scroll down and change vibrance and saturation, these sliders here are going to change all of the colors in my image. If I want to be a little bit more selective, I need to use the HSL panel. Now, instead of constantly scrolling in the panels on the right-hand side here, I'm going to right mouse click and I'm going to select solo mode. And what that will do is every time I click on a different panel, it will actually open that panel and close the other panels automatically. So now when I scroll down to HSL and I select it, the basic panel automatically was closed for me. All right, so in HSL, we have three different options. We have our hue, saturation, and our luminance. I'm going to begin with hue, and I can either choose to move the sliders. So let's say I want to change the color of the shirt. If I move the red slider to the left, it moves it towards magenta. If I move it to the right, it will move it towards orange. However, most of the time, I find that when I select a slider, I'm usually not really accurate as far as the color that I wanted to affect in the image. So what I prefer to do is use the targeted adjustment tool. Now let's double click the word red to reset the slider and then click on the targeted adjustment tool. What this allows me to do is position the crosshairs anywhere in the image and wherever I click and drag either up or down, Lightroom will automatically select the color underneath those crosshairs and if I drag up, it'll move the slider to the right. If I drag down, it'll move the slider to the left. Now as I click, Lightroom actually hides the interface so that I can see what I'm doing and I'll click and drag up and we can see that not only does the red slider move, but that shirt had some orange in it as well. So both of those sliders are moving. If I drag down, we can see that they both move to the left. Now, if I move over to the saturation slider, I might want to desaturate the cyan color in the shadow area. So I'll use the targeted adjustment tool again. I'll click and then drag down and you can see that the blue is being removed from those shadow areas. Finally, I'll move over to luminance and I want to darken down the yellow here in the scooter so I can click on it and then drag to the left and we can see that that scooter not only has some yellow but also some orange. Obviously if I wanted to lighten it, I would just click and drag up. If I want to view the hue, saturation, and luminance all at one time, I can click on the all option here and then scroll down through them or you might find it easier to click on the color area and then for each color range that you select, you have the hue, saturation, and luminosity available. The only drawback to the color as opposed to the hue, saturation, and luminosity area is that the color is lacking the targeted adjustment tool. So if you want to use that, be sure to click on HSL. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut, Command Option Shift, and then add either H for hue S for saturation or L for luminance. On Windows, that would be Control Alt Shift. So there you have it, an easy way for adjusting selective color ranges in your image. My name is Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.